After 30 years without a winner, finally someone has achieved one of the most elusive goals in aviation. The challenge was to build a human-powered helicopter. Many have tried, many have failed, and as Christina Stevens reports, it was a Canadian team that finally cracked it. For one minute, Todd Reichert would pedal harder than he ever had in his life. One minute to fly into the history books. Your mind almost goes blank in this hyper state of awareness uh, where you're just pedaling with everything you have um, and just holding on to the physical control of your body. A team of aviation engineers and students was trying to achieve a goal that many had deemed unattainable fly a human-powered helicopter for at least 60 seconds, reaching three meters high and staying within a 10-meter box. Wow! With touchdown, they had done it and won the elusive AHS Sikorsky Prize, worth $250,000. Other teams from around the world had tried but failed, the prize going unclaimed well, we for more than here. three decades. It was that else. difficult. This is really an amazing event. This is like Charles Lindbergh crossing the Atlantic. It took a year and a half Sweet. to design, build and test. We've had quite a few crashes where we, you know, break major structural members. And we've had two major crashes where we basically fell out of the sky from three meters and destroyed much of the helicopter. They had to find the magic formula of ultra light and ultra strong, okay, making awesome. Atlas as they dubbed it out of things like carbon fiber and everyday foam. Much of it is built like cutting edge aircraft, but also a lot of it is built like a model aircraft. For some perspective, tip to tip, it's just under 47 meters across. But get this, it weighs only about 120 pounds. Put it another way, if you tipped it up, it would be about 15 stories tall. You won't be seeing these things flying down your street anytime soon, so why do it? To inspire innovation and for the sheer challenge of it. Something in the spirit of mankind is always trying to get you to do the impossible. And this is one of those things that everybody considered impossible. Achieving the impossible is a feeling the team will be hanging on to for a long time yet. Christina Stevens, Global News, Vaughan, Ontario.